Our reports and ash fees can be customized for your company's look and feel. This video is going to go over just the basics of the customizer. Uh, we'll have another video for the nitty gritty and really getting into customizing. But to download the customizer, just click on reports and then report customizer. You get a pop-up asking you to open, save, or save as. I'd recommend saving somewhere on your computer, such as your desktop. And then after you save it, it'll save a zip file on your desktop, which you can right click and then unzip or just double click to open and then double click on the .msi file. This will allow you to install the uh, customizer onto the computer. So just click on run and then next, next, next. When you open up the, when you install the customizer, you'll have a shortcut on your desktop or in the start menu where you can just double click and open it up. Uh, from here, you'll put in your company identifier, username, and password. Once logged in, you'll see a screen similar to this. You have your section reports on the left hand side, the actual report in the middle, and some things you could do to the, to the uh, actual fields on the right. I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to open one of the reports. I'm going to go to my receipt which is a common report that you may want to customize. So I'll just click on receipt and then open. So I'm going to drag this right side over just a tad to the left so I can see it a little bit bigger. So on this report, you can see that there's a lot of fields available for you um, already as the uh, default that the report comes with. So you can start here and then customize to your heart's content. You can add in lines, uh, pictures, maybe your logo, although on the receipt, the logo field's already here and that comes from your masterpiece data. Um, so you can see here, there's basically two types of uh, expressions or data fields. Uh, one is what's called labels and the other one is text fields. The labels are things that you just want to display. Um, it's not going to grab any data from the actual report, it's just going to display what it is that's in the box. In this case, it's just going to display sold to. Um, if you want to add another label, you'll just click on label, draw a box around here, and type in whatever you want it to say. You also have some control over the font and the size and the color, um, just like you do in a regular Microsoft Word uh, template. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the expression and you, you can see that it's selected because it's got some uh, little boxes around the expression. So I'll go ahead and make this one just a little bit bigger, maybe bold, and I'll change the color to red just so it's easy to see. Another thing is the text box. I'm going to do a text box around here and the text box is where you actually bind to the data. And what you bind to the data is what's called data field. So if I scroll to down a little bit, here's my data field. When I click on the data field, I'll have a drop down. So basically, all the data fields available for this report will appear in the drop down. If there is no data field that exists in this drop down, then you can't add it to the report, and it would have to be um, uh, added by our developers. So let's say that I wanted to add the uh, the staff name to this report right in the middle. So I'll just go ahead and click on staff. So this field is now binded to the staff data. So every time a transaction is created, it will display whatever's in the staff uh, field. You also can double click in here and describe or name the field. I'm just gonna call it staff, but you can name it whatever. Um, and then you also have the typical formatting options of changing the font, the bold, italicized, and the um, uh, alignment. After you're done with your customization changes, just go to File, Save. And then you can open up the report that you want to see. Let me go to my cell screen here. I'll click on uh, Transaction and hit Print. And you should see the changes that you've created on your, uh, your customization tool. One thing to keep in mind in the future reports though is next time you open it up and go to File, Open, you'll have your list of default uh, templates here but once you customize your report, it's not a part of a default report anymore. And now you'll have to go to your company, click on your company name, and then click filter. And then you'll see all of the ones that you've already customized. Uh, so that's the basics of the report customizer.